do. I use it personally to express being the best. Some like I want to like that. My whole thing about it is like make the illest stuff move on. Make mm. it the illest like Bluebell. Eat you know. Make the best. Sell it. Do it again, you know. So what you I mean? believe all your music is timeless pieces that just like how today we can hear a song come on that was made twenty years ago or fifteen years ago. I ain't gonna lie, I can't wait till you get Lee in here because Lee gonna tell you that. Like we don't we don't go in there trying to it's nothing about like, okay, the sound of the moment or this or that, you know what I mean? And that's you know, I don't know. We don't we don't make things that try that only fit a moment or, or to exist in a vacuum of what's happening today. Mm -hmm completely free you know do it you know and and be the best at it and let the chills fall where they may yeah yeah so uh, top three artists of all time okay now hey, hey, hey. Now, only one three. Three. now I'm gonna tell only you one three. Three. okay okay I need these my rules now I only want three I watch your podcast so man. you know I watch that your, was coming I, I know that yeah and I and now I'm finna I'm finna chastise something before I give you my answer any genre <laughs> right any genre <laughs> But I'm gonna give you. It's my three favorite of all time. Oh, is what he asked. That's what I want. But I wanna, I wanna chastise people for some. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm tired of people saying Michael Jackson. Uh oh. <laughs> that's what they say. It's always Michael Jackson, Tupac back to back. Like stop that. It's always. Like cut that out. That's not um, why. why. Michael Jackson was great. It's people better than Michael Jackson, man. It's just stop saying what you think people want to hear. So that's who, the problem with life. No, but that's that, there. I agree that's with there. that. I really no. not agree with that because I tell these people what Joe here. You hear me say that? Yeah. What Joe here? They tell you Joe Michael Jackson heard. is just so great, but and, they don't and, even and, listen and, to Michael Jackson. But Michael Jackson, that's same there. thing with Eminem too, though. There. That is same thing with Eminem. That's who they same love thing because with as a child back then, we all listened to Michael Jackson. The things that we didn't like is you know. The only thing I didn't like about Michael Jackson is him changing physically. That was it. But music wise. That's a part that made him stand. Let me put this in there. Michael Jackson was on TV when there was six channels on TV. Mm -hmm. Then he was on TV when he got older in his teenage years when there was probably 12 or 13 channels mm -hmm. on TV. Then when he was in his late 20s, it was probably maybe 35 channels on TV. He came onto MTV. It was a brand new channel. He was the only black person on there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like this, just being real now. He received, and he's one of the best ever. And he had the best ever. Quincy Jones, dude got George Lucas, people that made Star Wars doing his videos and stuff. And he existed in a different time. But what Damn. I like about Michael Jackson, and um, and he's not one of my top, mm -hmm. but the reason why I can understand why he's a lot of people's top, because yes, he existed in a different generation, but my daughter at a young age, she's at, she loves Michael Jackson. Yeah, but we you know? train our, we train. But, and, but yeah. she never heard me listen to Michael Jackson. Yeah. She never, He's got yeah. great music. It's, it's, it's Before they start saying that I had the. Now do no. say Michael, yeah. Michael Jackson, yeah. Yeah. Uh, living off the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he don't like living off the wall like yeah. that. But when I say that, because even, I guarantee you, even her kids, kids well, probably let me ask still you this. love if Michael Jackson. If Michael Jackson came out today. Rock with you. Okay. All night. And his life was similar to what it was at that time. Mm -hmm. Would he still be recognized as like the greatest of all time? I think he still would. So you think that in 2021, somebody could bleach their skin, have like a chimpanzee, mm -hmm. and like people would say, man, don't worry about it. He the coldest. They still would. I, I disagree with that. And you, talking you know about why I say that? Because... Okay, me coming from Jamaica, right? Mm -hmm. um, Jamaica is a uh, place of everybody of different colors, different races, everything like that. But for some yeah, reason, yeah, they mostly black though. But for some reason, a lot of people, but for some reason, a lot of people are hey, still. Hey, 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 hey! That, no, I was nervous on. over there a little bit. <laughs> but a lot of people are still loving light skin, so okay. you have a lot of people even there who still bleach your skin. In and, America, you can't bleach your but, skin. 
He's the only person. No, that, but in Jamaica, a lot of mm-hmm. people do, and I'm guarantee you because a lot of those Jamaicans who live there yeah. are in the states bleaching their skin even right now, and okay. they're different oh, those, ways of how they do it. You have somebody they got as dark as and my stuff, husband you know? who would take. I don't pills. know anything. Yeah. About no, I I knew because I knew Sammy a lot of people. Sosa. Because I knew that a lot of people looked, back yeah, then who raw. did. You talk about um, vibes cartel. Vibes think, cartel. Right. Right. And they take pills that bleaches from inside out. And you have some people who use like toothpaste and all these different, you know, home remedies to, to bleach your skin because they feel that light skin is more accepted. Uh, right. You know. Well, if I mean? you did that today, coming from Gary, Indiana, right, and made yourself like you had the talent to become a worldwide figure and a, like a big pop star, and you was a a pop star with black skin. Mm-hmm. And from one album, uh, Thriller, to Bad, the next album, you don't went from a black, you know, one of the greatest black, mm-hmm. to a white woman, a white mm-hmm. woman, rock star, white femme. In today's time, even though those were the things that were mystical about Mike at the time. That nigga voice was but, serious, Al D. Don't sit up here and act I'm not, like that. But, but then he gained Aldi. a lot of, but he gained a Aldi, lot of you, white you claims a lot. Look, after look at, that compared to what he was younger than dark. Bad, was artistry is about, so, bad in that, that's, so, artistry is about more than But once he started bleaching and that changing, bad, ain't he, he crossed <laughs> over in a lot of, because, okay, question. How, how much do you feel that looks have to do with a lot. Your career. Because yes. even because yes, we're talking about light skin, dark skin, but we're also talking about I can see a guy or a female who not as gorgeous as somebody who, you know No 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 no. Hold I don't on. When think I say gorgeous, when I say gorgeous, it doesn't have to always be dark and light, mm-hmm. right? It can be they call it now he's not as marketable because of his looks or her looks. Um, this person is more marketable because they look nice, they fit the 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 criteria for me pushing them and they're being successful. He he the eccentricities, if I say that right. Uh, the, you're too deep for you. The being, deep. He was very eccentric. No. Mm-hmm. And that's that's like that's that's like this let me give you my top three and this is I thought finish. he was handsome before. I didn't think he I was think a lot of people probably thought that, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. But he went he did some weird, wild things. These things I know as an artist are what root you into the mind of a consumer, which is why there is an industry to create narratives that people think are wild for artists, whether it be um, catching cases, some of these, or beating somebody up. We can stage a scene, somebody come in here and add the boom, beat them up, we feed it to the blogs or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, and and it goes. These things were like in their infant stages when uh, Mike was doing his thing. So, so you think when his hair got burnt up on Pepsi, like all of these, fa- every if you think yeah. about, if you just look up Michael Jackson headlines, mm-hmm. and then you put the music with the headlines, mm-hmm. you know you got the recipe for. The, but the he, but he, the he, he took it to the extreme nah, because when you think about man, Lil Kim, come on, man, man, come Lil on, that Kim, she her. messed up herself too. Come on, that beat yes. Billie Jean. You know what I mean? Let man. me tell you who's the best Damn, the girl is mine. artist of all time. Okay. I'm not going to fight you. I'm about Mike, to tell that's you. What my, the girl is mine. So right. Who is your number one? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Oh, and you getting the top three? I'm finna do it right now. All right. Well, let's do out these top three. I had to lay that out for y'all so that y'all would understand about artistry uh-huh. and the way that it's perceived by the masses. Same okay. thing, the same thing with Tupac, who was- He was talented. Okay, but you gotta have a memory. You gotta remember, you gotta remember, you gotta remember that Tupac was already a, a out rapper. Um, Tupac lives now? Yes. I know. Did that take the world by storm? No, nah, but it's a process, Who was man. the bigger rapper? Wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's you see? <laughs> Listen, hold up, hold up, we finna go there. Yeah. You said a key thing, right? Yeah, it's a process. Okay, who is it a process for? So Not the greatest of all time. The greatest of all time when they open their mouth the first time. When they debut out there, when they get out there on their major for the first time, your debut album or the time that everybody heard you, whether it be Snoop Dogg, I'm talking about on the deep cover. I Snoop can't Dog. hear. I can't wait to hear your top three, boy. You wait, really just, building this up because I'm, I'm, I'm oh, running this into is gonna be good yeah. to me. Ice Cube. That's your top three. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> I'm telling you something okay, about I'm art. All right, I'm going Ice back. Cube, when you first heard him, did uh-huh. it take did it take eight albums or three or four albums? Uh-uh. Did y'all forget Tupac was wearing like bikini drawers and all of that stuff and dancing back there? But this is the most gangster rapper of all time. So what I'm trying to tell, what I'm trying to, this is what I'm trying to say. The memory of people is gone. Tupac never at no time was bigger than Snoop Dogg. You know, while he was alive. I'm talking about Snoop just opens his mouth and the world like, whoa, Snoop Dogg. You know, Tupac had the outside antics. And as his antics went up. I cannot up, sit here and not, I, I got to go somewhere with you before you go any further. As man. his antics went up. No, Snoop Dogg had Dr. Dre. Two, yeah, yeah, Snoop, yeah. Snoop, Tupac yeah, had Dr. Dre too. No, right? not not at the not at first. Dr. Okay. Dre was special. Okay, well, how about Scarface? Production. You got Mr. Lee. I got Mr. Okay, Lee. Okay, so it's right. a it's it's a chemistry between two individuals, and you know this. It's always about okay. collaboration so, when you're so dealing with music. Basically, this man was dealing with uh, digital underground and dancing, and they, they you know they they music wasn't even even like it like like his music ended up. He ended. He did albums before on some gangster stuff. You know, whatever he was. That trying. was more military when he did those. Yeah, it was Public military. Enemy and, yeah, but, it was, but that what, was the time he was but, in. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say in this same thing is that you was all of these things. You know, twenty. He died when he was 25. Yeah, he's an artist, man. Okay, I say that he's an artist, even in his life. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. He he definitely was an actor and all kind of stuff. In life too, right? A lot of people right? didn't have those skills. He was acting like a gangster in real life. Uh, in certain parts, but some parts he wasn't. We was locked up at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah. He was in like a theater class. Uh-huh. Yeah, theater correct. School. He's got tights and knows how to do ballet. Yeah, uh, yeah. I ain't never really and seen And then he ballet. tells you that real niggas don't die. But he evolved into that, man. He evolved into it? Yeah, because it's forced into you. Like if you It's take, forced into yeah, you? Yeah, like if you take a 15-year-old or, or 20-year-old dude and stick him down there Get on beat on one. Wait a minute. Yeah, beat on one. <laughs> or, 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 you know, this guy's going to change if you put him in a situation where he has to go into a situation and he don't know this lifestyle. When he start going into these different situations and these different places, it... You it evolved. Have to, it evolved. You have to at adapt 23. to society, man. He adapted at 23 to he, a gangster. He got locked up. When, when did he get locked up on uh, on San Quentin? He Clinton. Uh, Clinton facility. Yeah. Right. Okay. He got he got he got. Well, locked I'm trying up. to figure out like this change how it happened. What I'm trying to tell you is that then he got shot five times. I mean, you get shot by playing. playing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, you gotta understand, this guy gets shot five times. Why they shoot him? He's gonna change it. I don't know. It was a setup. They oh, said. and that and that it was a setup. That that's but what, it's a process. You know like, what the setup was? What was it? Juice. You think that was the the whole reason he got shot? I think that 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 role uh uh-uh. took him to. This is who I want to be. I think that the way that black people respond to theater that they love, especially gangster shit. I get where you And he saw from. the love you that think, he was giving. Like, he like, said, you know what? That's, fuck this poetic just Fuck that. I, I ain't on that. I'm on some. From now on, I'm finna be what they. Re- I'm the bad guy. Like Heath Ledger. Like Joker. Imi- or imitated life. I'm Bishop. Yeah. I'm Bishop so, now. But then once you get shot five times, you keep going and now after you, that you too. You bloody. Yeah. What? That's when you turn all the way up. Because but they, y'all they, hell, you know, buddy. listen, really- listen. <laughs> and and unknowingly painted the scenario in the scene. Now these kids in these generations, they got eight Tupacs, man. Yeah, but when when he did Me Against the World, you know That was a great that album. That was a great album. Yes. He he's got a lot of great. He's got a couple of great albums. Don't you say a couple? He had more than a couple. What's great? That double, that double disc that him and uh, him and uh, Dre did together. I can hear Kiki ride. in my head talking about man, you tripping? Like, <laughs> I can hear it. because it, I told him the other day. Uh, I said that uh, man, ain't nobody riding around listening to no pop. Yeah, they do. He said he got <laughs> pop in his car, right? Yeah. But when these kids, you know, the kid, the kids don't care. That's what I love about like new artists and all that shit. They don't care, man. So the kids. When they come out and say, man, Pac shit ain't jamming. And then the old heads say, man, what, man what's wrong with you, man? Pac, and, whoa, they try to make you like him. But it don't jam. Now, you can actually put in Biggie Smalls. Like, anybody like Big Papa. Love it when they come in. Anybody like Gin and Juice. 
Like you could put that in gin and ginger. Anybody, anybody like I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. That's a good one. Mm, 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 I, mm, let me tell you this. <laughs> listen, listen. Pac loses in a ver- <laughs> Pac, lo- Pac loses in a versus battle to who? To about twenty people from his era. No. Mm-mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. Man, it was good back then. Man, when he played that, uh, Brenda got a baby. He got some hits, man. Like, like hits. He got, he yes, got he got them. But what people forget about the hits that he had is no real nigga wanted to you, hear. You, you hear when he you, said I, it, nobody well, in my neighborhood played said, Brenda got a baby. It ain't easy <laughs> being me. Will I see the penitentiary? That's a jamming album. Will I stay? Free? That's a jamming you know album. <laughs> yeah, Listen, yeah, man, mama, that, dear mama. That's a jamming. That's all those same You had to pick twenty songs and and go in there with Pac, man. You gonna have a problem, man, man. You ain't got no problem if you Snoop Dogg. <laughs> What you think? Anybody, you, you, you gonna have a problem? You know, I, yeah. You Snoop gonna have a problem. problem. 20, well, 20 against 20. See, and now you see oh, that's why gonna be a I good keep one. my opinions to myself. No, I like okay, it. Hold because, on, because, hold on, hold on. because, because, no, no, because no, no, y'all, no, y'all, no, y'all no, done already been on, indoctrinated. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shamaria, I wanna get a younger version. A younger. Okay. Don't Shamaria, say she listened to it because of me, y'all. Yes, yeah, please yeah, don't. Please don't. Now you know about some two. What's your favorite two part, Al? Shamaria. Okay. I know three older people. I know three ones that she listens. I know she loves Michael Jackson. She loves the Tupac, and she mm-hmm. loves Whitney Houston. Those three right there. No, Whitney, Houston, Whitney Houston is unquestionably great. No antics, nothing. Turn everything off. Turn the music on. Or turn just That's, grab me. Give me the mic. Turn That's the music it. off, and yeah. You see what I'm saying? I understand. What the you're rest saying. of these people that y'all name. Who is it? What is your favorite Tupac song? Tupac song. Mm-hmm. Which one? Do you for love? love? Mhm. Yeah, he was dead when it came up. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 but you know, again, shout out Lee. Lee done did a lot for him too. Did work a lot of work with Tupac. You know. Well, let me give it to you. Yeah. But first, I had to clear the path so that you would know. Hold on, hold on. All right. What? Which? Yeah, I want to be straight focused when I hear this. Right. I had to give you that outside stuff Mm -hmm. about what was going on in the world and in the lives of these people that y'all think is the greatest of all time, like Prince. Same same scenario. I wasn't always a Prince fan. But I think I, I think my, I think Michael. Prince is dope as hell, but I I think that he wore pants with his ass out. Mm-hmm. I think that he presented himself as even though I don't think he's gay or nothing like that. Could you be? Yeah. I think that yeah. he presented mm-hmm. himself in, in a, like a tr- a jewel, gender fluid kind of way that made him a little it made it bigger questionable it made it no it didn't make him I don't I don't one thing about Ad Ad he think Prince is a real player Mm -hmm. you know but I believe that he presented himself in a way that allowed you know for people to speculate Mm -hmm. and I think that that added to the allure to his artistry because America is just hell bent on some gay shit they don't want you to it's just gay shit you know what I'm saying but let me say Top three artists Here of we all go. time. I'm going now. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. I had to do all of that gender. to fight John. Yeah, I Michael Jackson. You got Is Michael Jackson? No. We know Michael not going to be in there. I had to fight that fight so that people would understand. Which one? Okay, let me hear number what you're The real number best one. artist number one. of Number one. Chris Brown. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hold on, let me just hear the whole number three first. Let me say Chris Brown. I'm listening to you. I, I know hold the dance. I want to hear hey, number like two. Before we ask why, before we ask why. Let me tell you about this. Nah, we ain't going to ask why yet. We're going to get all three. We, we want to get all three okay, before okay. we... Number two. R. Kelly. Okay, number three. Under Chris Brown. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me... Yes, because No, 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 no. And I'm going to tell you why. Number three. But R. Kelly is number two. And the third one that I would say, um, all time greatest artist of all time, uh, Luther Vandross would be number three. Okay. I like that one. That's the only one. That's the only one <laughs> yeah. that I could. Well, no, no R. we Kelly. like R. Stop Kelly playing. too, but keep Cause, cause Chris Brown. Why? Because Chris Chris Brown is the most talented black person that there has been in the United States. Some shit you get. You just get it because of God. That's your looks and all of that type of shit. Um, musically, they can't they can't miss hits and all of that. He the all he's he's the best talent that we've had as 
blacks. But he don't have the. I already told, like I tell my, I tell people this all the time. All Chris Brown got to do if he want to be received as the best ever from the outside masses, wear a dress like the rest of them do. Like, of course you lose me in the process, but do some gay shit and all that shit that'll keep you relevant to the the higher ups, and then they'll they'll go ahead and create the narrative or fix the narrative so it can match the the other black people that they done had to. Um, dress in drag or do whatever gay shit that they use to to make them say that oh yeah look at him look, you know look at this person right here he the greatest look at what all the shit that he did this is y'all greats but white greats they don't have that like Tom Cruise ain't gotta play the role of you no know, fat he ain't wearing no dress or no shit like that you know what's but, his name did and he was Mr. a great Mr. Doubtfire yeah it's Doubtfire um, yeah but Robbins you know he was he this, when I start saying names, like like we don't have but Denzel and Samuel, right? That doesn't. And everybody else, we got something. No, no. Don't Pretty much, don't right? Don't y'all forget about you. You all Who? do not never not say Tell Forrest, me, brother, don't Forrest me. Whitaker, man. Forrest Whitaker. He down there out of Longview, man. <laughs> yeah, don't right. do that, man. Hey, man, shout out <laughs> Forrest on, Whitaker. Man, I'm, sorry. Cousin, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Forrest. Sorry. Hey man, hey, I'm I'm sorry, Forrest. If I, you know, but I don't know. He stomped down. I don't know, but I do know that when you go into you go into pop culture in America, they gonna try to turn a black male into a female. That's the goal. And you holding it down with Chris Brown because he did. Oh, and Dave Chappelle, shout out Dave Chappelle. He don't play that shit. Yeah, Dave yeah, don't. Dave yeah. Chappelle, man, Charlie Murphy, rest in peace, Charlie Murphy. He made yeah. it known. He came out and said it too. Yeah, that's Dave what the type Chappelle. of shit they want you to do. You know what I'm saying? But I take points away from the art when they got the rainbow, or no, no, not when when your when your narrative outside of the art is contrived, it takes you down. I, I, in my mind, well, Chris Brown, and you know, with his track record with the abuse with Rihanna yes. and all that. That was a that was a bad boy image. He had his bad boy face. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, he had his bad boy face. He was. I he think was it was the, real was, though. You think it was real? No, th- no, no. I think yes. I believe it was a. We really got into it. I don't it know. Really Why got out you of say hand. that about him and then say Pac didn't have real issues with different things? No. <laughs> I think I think Pac and, and these other some, people staged yeah. theirs, but I'm Chris like, Brown all of a sudden don't like, benefit from this stuff. Pac run Brown. up on people, man. Like you aren't supposed to run. Listen, man, we are so the guys. Did gangsters. he kill? Did he kill? Uh, did he shoot at some off-duty police officer? Not that is that? Yeah, fake? you done, you done shot at some off-duty police, and they got one thing about him. Anything that he do, it make it way to the paper, some kind of way. In the whole world, so you, you say pox he, out at some when old, Chris Brown did what he did, it made his way to the paper, and he cut up at that news station too. Man, he you know did. these people is now playing with Chris behind, behind the scenes, tearing all these tough buildings. They playing talking. with him, man. They trying to get him to act out. First, and he and he a Michael Jackson. That's who he think he is. A lot of people get borrow. From uh, yeah, Usher did too. Yeah, and it's a bunch of them. Mike. Omar Mike Young. is unquestionably one of the greats of all time, but it's just the elevated sense of reverence that they put on Michael Jackson without acknowledging the headlines. In my opinion, that go. I get it. Along I see what you're saying. It. For it's like the things that let's they take all of this put. stuff off. It Michael Jackson can't mess with R. Kelly, man. I'm saying R. Kelly gonna nah, sit up and play these I'm songs. Not play, I'm not for the play with R. Kelly. I don't do that, bro. He's gonna play these songs and that's gonna that, be that. I'm not gonna do that. He gonna play the song. Like he turn wrote the songs. For Michael on. Jackson, but he can't write. You know what I'm saying? This the this the dude that wrote songs for Michael Jackson, but he's he can't the best. write. And then Luther you know <laughs> Luther. Luther, I can I cannot play with Luther. Man. Let me tell you because something, man. He's the exception. Cause somebody gonna watch this and say, damn, you said all that gay shit. What about Luther? Yeah. Don't yeah, worry nah, about that. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Luther Vandross is cold. The cold. We he deserving of nothing but respect. I don't know for a fact that he did nothing gay or nothing. I don't know nothing about Why that, do and don't, don't nobody know? else know. Big Luther and Little Luther. Luther Vandross is one of the coldest, coldest. To, I, yeah, and I that's just that. that. Just call it that and leave it alone, and don't try to find and don't try to dig well, nothing. You start nothing. digging. Uh, yeah. you, you dig on any. He, I you, don't dig on Luther Vandross. Don't dig on any of, any of our uh, patriarchs, guys who are pinnacles in our time. Yeah. They always look for ways to damage the the, the, the character of the man. Yeah. Let's not play about that. Yeah, don't I do mean, Luther, I, though. 
All of them. Because he's all really that cold. No, no, no. They deal with all of them the same when yeah. it come down to the, 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 the people who, the, the upper echelons, the ones who you, you don't, you know, we put ourselves in bad situations, I don't, but, but, but it's easy. Yeah. It's very easy. Easier than any other coach, any other color. People that look like us, it's easy for us to. It's very easy. I got to make sure I say this because to that, what you're saying, I was just telling somebody the other day, um, it's being in the jungle. Yeah. Right? In the jungle, you got porcupines, you got flamingos, you know, you got lions. Black, white people have, uh, any race, any nationality has its advantages, right? The gifts that black people have, the gift of influence, um, you know, swag, the ability to make, I'm talking in sp specifically blacks in America get to tell the world what's cool and, and all of this. Um, this is what we have in lieu of being able to work together like other races can work together better mm -hmm. than a, in just different stuff like that. Don't take what we can't do or don't seem to be performing well at and make that the reason why we can't do nothing or you can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Nah, we can do a lot. I agree. Let's know what we can do. And be cold at it. Yeah, and just deal with that. And mm -hmm. don't and don't try to, uh, you, I'm finna get all of these people together and we finna do this right there. And then hear this man come in and, man, you know, E, man, he, he be on there. You know, doing what niggas do. They do it. Right? Mm -hmm. And now you mad. Oh, I tried all of this. Man, you know that's what niggas do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just keep going. I get it, man. Top three artists of all time was Chris Brown, R. Kelly, R. Kelly and, Luther and Luther Vandross. Because you said that's artists. the first Luther, right? You didn't say rappers. I don't think so. You said any, artists. No, no, no. Any, no, art, no, no. any, any anyone. I, I, Those I, are the I, three I, artists of all that time. nobody can. Chris Brown, I put him against anybody alive ever, and it was. He gonna kill him. He gonna outdance better. He gonna outdance him. He look better. He everything. He can. He is nothing they can do to miss with Chris Brown. If you finna play music, yeah, there's that's, nobody that, that can that's mess with our kid. Only Kevin. if Michael Jackson is dead. If Michael Jackson is alive, this conversation is totally different. You say alive, so. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? No, he well, got to come in front of Mike. Andros is dead. No, no, he got to come in front of Mike, Chris Brown, man, and deal with Mike. That's a problem, man. How many songs is Mike going to really play? Man, Mike going to kill that nigga, man. I what ain't going to lie to you, man. That nigga dead, man. Mike is going to play how many songs? Mike going to sing everything. He ain't going to even dance on some of them. He's just going to sit there and just whistle. He might whistle. We don't know. Yeah. Mike going to kill that nigga, man. Mike Shout is out great. to Chris Brown, Shout man. Shout out to Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson is one of the greatest of all time. Yeah. Please put this part in, you know, but yeah, no, yeah. Make, make this part in there where I say that Michael Jackson is unquestionably one of the greatest artists of, of, all, our time. of all time. But you I don't mean people, no but, but disrespect at all. I think what you're saying all. is a lot of people just jump on the bandwagon and don't even look into what was going on during the time. So I respect what it's, you're saying. You I, gotta, I social, see where you're coming from. And, and it's, it's unfair to artists because they say... Oh yeah, such and such good. Well, he ain't, he ain't, you know. If when I bring up Michael Jack, I mean when I bring up Chris Brown, sometimes they be like, uh, you be beating on women. No, they say that. Yeah, they do say that. Well, I mean, not to me. No, I'm talking about like the, 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 the if you look at your your people who don't look like you. Yeah. When they think of Chris Brown, well, Bobby and Brown because did of the some narrative things, right? that was portrayed, they are gonna say that. I'm, I'm yeah. being honest, but then I say again. It's very easy for us to be depicted in a way because of yeah. how we look. But we gotta see past it. I and, get it. And, and and Michael Jackson, I mean Chris Brown, just from a talent standpoint, man, I don't just I don't think nobody. I don't can think touch nobody him. rocking with him right now. I agree right now live. Let me tell you. Alive. Oh, you said nobody rock like nobody can miss. Yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, no, no. You see, you alive. see what I'm saying. You alive. you really fell into the trap because older or uh, uh, more seasoned people, they judging it. Like I got people that I argue with about this. And they say, they start putting these metrics up that Mike had. They say, Mike, man, you know, this, like a movie, he did this and that. Every Chris Brown video is a movie, man. 
And, this and, is the times we living man, in. You, listen, man, I'm an old school nigga, man. I seen Mike slide across that fl that flow on uh, Motown 25. And it was lit up. Listen, the floor man, was lit nigga, up. Man, that nigga like oh, fire was coming. Them pen loafers, them old were coming. You know <laughs> you, you remember? Yeah. But them old, look, look, look. Them old was sliding, man. It looked like that nigga was on ice. Nostalgia. You know <laughs> Everybody's got the nostalgia factor when they talking about Mike. Mike Cole, man. He was one of the coldest <laughs> of all time. Was, that moonwalk did it. That was it for me. I was cool Listen, with Mike man, cause he was I had the red with zipper you and all that. That's what <laughs> I'm it. talking about. I know you had it. Because everybody had one. Everybody but wanted I, to be Mike. Everybody yes. did. I even had a curl. I ain't gonna lie to you, my nigga. But <laughs> that was the time. Yeah. And it wasn't many outlets. So he was the one started we had. We had nobody comparable to him. You know? Let me pull you back into this Sorry. music, man. Okay. Bitches ain't shit. I, yeah, 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 yeah. This is gonna go all the way from Mike to Damn, that. Damn, man. man. That's what this, that, was, that was what you. That's what. That's one of your songs. Yeah. Uh, what was that all about? Um, I it's, well, it's a a, a I know it's a remix. I love it, man. Right. You know, I just man, I just turn it on and let's just go. Like Bro. my my mentality when it come to music is just just be ill, take it, crush it, move on to the next one, crush the next one, go hard. You know, it showed you the best at it. Move on to the next shit. I explained some shit in that song, you know, um, like the, the Kobe Bryant situation, rest yeah, in I peace, Kobe. That. I remember that. You know, there are certain females that uh, would like to see you at a disadvantage simply because you not doing for them what, you know, what mm -hmm. they feel like you should be doing. We live in a time where where it's simp culture is, that, is going around, you know, um, it is the standard people are paying for female attention and all of that. I'm talking about just straight transaction based, paying for attention, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I like to highlight how, you know, how doing something like that or being in that kind of mentality, this is the culture that it creates. Females believing that, you know, well, if you don't do it, I'm looking for a way to one up you, mm -hmm. you know. So you know, a person meet Kobe Bryant in a, in a, uh, you know, in a at a at a physical therapy facility in Colorado, and you know, yeah, one thing lead to another. I'm Kobe Bryant. I don't want to do too much talk. Hey, what's up? You know, you say it's all good. You know, y'all do whatever y'all do, and then here comes the rape allegations and all of this type of shit. It's like, and it's still that type of that same tactic. It's still being used. Yeah, it's yeah. still going on today because, you know, people just don't, just say you a slut. Just say it. You know, yeah. look, I'm, I slutted out with uh with him and he, he really kind of, you know, or I felt like it was going to be, you know, so I went and played it for a move. I bust mm -hmm. a move on Kobe. You know, a lot of people, so, you know. Let me I ask just, you this, uh, be somebody, uh, have, do you have any youngsters, anybody that's coming up? Yeah. Anybody, do you influence and help any of these young cats? And help. I mean, yeah. like reach back to them and try to show them the game. Cause I mean, you you definitely doing something <laughs> right, bro. You feeding your family. You you make money off of music. Right. That's mm. not something everybody doing. I'm gonna keep putting that in your face because mm. it's the truth. How are you helping anybody else? Don't say it like that. The way you said it, like, <laughs> are you helping anybody? Um, I mean, for us, I you talk, know, we, I, we I, gotta help them. I'm gonna tell you, bro. Like, just, I'm gonna tell you. Be, like, you remember know. what I just told you about, like Nick, bro. Did rap is like, you know, you watch sports a little bit. Okay, you ever seen people watching football mm -hmm. and say like? Man, that nigga, he should have ran that way. Yeah. You don't understand, like, concepts, the, the concepts of what's going on, why the man ran that way. You're looking at the screen, you can see everything from your little seat on the couch. You see what I'm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that a, a lot of the problem with, um, first of all, no two paths are the same in this, in, okay. in rap. I get it. Um, that's number one. Number two is when you're talking to people in this, in rap, they think they already know. I get it. But you can't tell nobody nothing in this. Not until you or Yo Gotti. You bump your head or something too. I got another. Yeah. I got another question. Or Rick Ross. They might listen. They'll listen to Rick Ross. I'm gonna ask Jay -Z. you. I'm gonna ask you another question. I was. Uh, it, it came up on here last night. And it uh -huh. was a very intense question. Uh, the radio stations down there. I'm hearing they don't play none of you guys' music and hadn't played them for years. Mm -mm, I can't say that. Shout out DJ Juice. 
Oh, so see, see, and that's, that's exactly, the name that's that popped the name up that, last that night. That and, 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 and I gotta say, Bone, Bone was yeah, on here last he night, and he said he sold more records than anybody. And in Dallas, when he came, he got fifty spin. Bone, she got yeah. Mm, yeah, no, no money. Yeah. Yeah. Bone, no, yeah. he said they played he, him. But they played Not say say they played him only twenty, 20 times. times. When Dallas and every even Louisiana play, played him seventy, eighty times. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you would think that from you being from East Texas and they he's in East Texas, the two stations that are there, that they would have yeah. said, you know, your own East Texas local artist and played him even more than yeah, anybody he's saying, else. He's from saying we, he's else. saying our our local artists don't but get the spins. That was areas. only him. He's like driving through East Texas. And there are a lot of artists down there, like your Smoothie and your mm -hmm. Smitty and, and all of you. that. And mm -hmm. you, yeah. they don't play. They don't music. play them. And, and Seco P, Seco P got six million views, and he said, "Call him." That he was like last song. night, "Call him, call him, and see if they play his music right now." Who? He was like that. That's what Bone was telling me. I was like, "Really?" Uh, and you know, so radio, radio is about um, relationships between corporations. Correct. I always find it silly that somebody who is like on the ground level in a place in today 2021 what radio station you listen to i don't really listen you don't to listen radio. to no radio station not right me now. neither i don't know nobody my wife yeah. listens to serious yeah but when when but during that time but, we was listening to radio what i'm during saying but, is but, hold on but okay go ahead you say that um but even today because i understood where he was coming from where the radio is concerned because mm -hmm. Like in East Texas, because when we driving through East Texas, you know, Wi-Fi and internet and stuff It'd like be that. going away. We go yeah. in and out. And a lot of times, the only go. thing you can really hear is the radio. Or when I used to actually go to work, drive here to there, That's why you I'm, not listening to, yeah. I'm not listening to my YouTube all the time or any of that. I'm listening to the easiest thing you turn on, which is the radio, because you want to hear whether traffic or, you know, whatever, and it right. turns on to the music. Okay. So a lot of times in those areas, a lot of people still do listen to you know, um, except from some of the younger kids here in Dallas, they'll listen to your YouTube and your Spotify and all of that. But in the country, he was saying that a lot of people still do listen to the radio. And the radio can help an artist in a lot of to different break ways to break an said. artist. Because, because, yes, you're on, again, Spotify, Apple, and all of that, and people go to those platforms to listen to you. But people who are driving who've never heard of you, who, don't, who are not on those platforms, if they hear the name, they'll know who to go look up. Mm -hmm. You understand um, what I mean? Can, and radio can, do mm -hmm. brainwash you because there's a lot of songs. How many times we do... It's called programming. You, right. Mm -hmm. If you you heard a song for the first time, it's like, oh, that's trash. Yeah. But they play it so darn much that by the end of the week, you're like, you're singing yeah, that song. That bad. <laughs> I think the only person, only people that listen to uh, radio is people in the penitentiary. I think pen the radio is some pen I, I don't... It's not necessary out here. I, I, all of the complaints, like the the majority of the complaints that I hear from artists, I you know like oh you know they ain't playing. It's like and they fired up about explaining to you why man you know radio and you know they playing this person and that and it's like you having this conversation and you putting that energy into it, but you know you ain't did all what you need to do. You can form a relationship at the radio. Um, if you got some money, you can get that he song. Said, he like, said. He said. He said. He could drop ten thousand on. They still ain't gonna pay East Texas artists. That's a lie. He said that. He say they'll take your money, but they ain't for the they ain't for the push it like push that. It like that. I said they ain't for take my damn money, bro. You know what I'm saying? Problem. That ain't gonna happen, bro. I, you, I, don't, I don't have to worry about stuff like that. Shout out to the brother who ever told you that, man. Yeah, that's Bone. It's, but shout out to Bone. Yeah, man, I got you know, But I'm gonna tell shout you, out Bone. ten thousand dollars is getting that song played on a schedule. You you taking ten thousand dollars to the radio. Oh, you dealing with the you yeah. dealing with the program and director. They're gonna put your song on a schedule. Mm -hmm. You're gonna know exactly when it's gonna come on. You can play ten thousand songs in a market like East Texas and get that song played all year long. Ten so thousand ten thousand dollars in Houston uh get your song played uh depending on if you want it to play uh on the weekends shows or on whatever. Ten thousand dollars to get your your radio your song played on the radio in Houston for about two months, man. Yeah, yeah. And, it's just and plain and simple. This business. So, yeah, it's yeah, ain't nobody going to take it. That's in Houston, though. That's in Houston. I'm no. talking about East Texas. It's easier to get East your Texas, music played you know, in East, East Texas. Te East Texas is different. It's easier to get your music played in East Texas than it is to get it played in a big city. Okay. So, um, 
Hold on, I want to say something. Oh, one thing, shuck it, dunk it. One thing, uh, one, <laughs> oh, I want to say something. What you want to say? No, because I used to always think that um, before that the radio was extinct. It's getting extinct. I've always said it that. Is, it is the, going, it the is going different. But then I remember um, we had a radio talk show host. I mean, a radio host. Which come one? On. I, I think Cruz? it was Jay Cruz who came on and said it. Or Vito Luca, I can't remember. That's what he said. He said at the end of the day, Whenever, cause, you know, people still got to pay their cell phone bills. Mm -hmm. People got to um, to get on Wi-Fi and all, unless they stop over Starbucks and try to get into their, you know, something like to get on Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, all of that is not free. So for a person who can't afford certain things and whatever, at the same time, they have the radio. The radio is free. You can just yeah. click it on and you can. So that's one platform that you can always listen to and hear something compared to something you have to pay for. When something is free, I read this a long time ago and it applies to everything. Uh, when something is free, you're what's being sold. Mm. So if something is free to you, you're the one that's being sold. So radio is selling ears and listeners and they that's what they selling to advertisers. That's the business right. model. So what radio wants to do the business of radio is we need something. We need songs and content that bring listeners to the radio station. Some unknown artists in this market may do it. Drake is going to do it. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is do the relationship with the, the major companies and their artists we gonna use them. So the, it's a money back and forth between radio, which is only Clear Channel and Radio One is the only radio stations that it is and they own all of the other radio stations and list that, you know, just little pop ups or whatever. Mm -hmm. So again, th it's all around the United States. It's the same songs being played. These songs are from the major labels. Mm -hmm. So when somebody is like outside of that machine and saying, hey, you need to play me in this Dallas market, like screaming and yelling, I would say that it's a bet in today's time. It's a better use of your energy because you could agree. You could be on a Spotify playlist. You, you could be on, a, on an iTunes playlist. I you talk can, straight to them. Yeah, I know it's a lot it. of it's a lot of things you can do. I don't think that you should let that be. It's always something going on that's like not good or whatever right. yeah so you want to be on that gonna, positive you gonna side. not me, figure it out yeah or? let me let me ask you this right here man because you 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 say a kiki name a lot of times that's my dog yeah yeah that's your dog he, yeah. a, rap, he a rap fanatic dj screw i love this boy so yeah. i want to i want to talk about these boys in houston for a minute okay. they had a run man i ain't saying they had the same run now because it's a little different times and change but that was a time when they had a hell of a run man, man. and um you know kiki can rap too man. what yeah. you gonna do when kiki step in the booth against you we done been down through that yeah 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 you say you were the best i mean you you yeah, i'm all all yeah, coming i'm gonna put kiki yeah right there that's your boy i'm gonna do yeah. it just like that clash of the titans yeah yeah look kiki shout out look kiki I mean, yeah i'm gonna put him right there yeah and then they're gonna rap dog yeah <laughs> yeah for sure man Kiki, man i love you man uh, i, I, I uh, love him boys, he ain't man. even like like Man, he's so cool, he man. He be jamming, man. I ain't never yeah. met him. I never I met Trey and a couple yeah. of them. But, man, but key, key like is, a, on, like, he move, like, the way he moving is, like, the whole, he he and others okay. have helped me to see the real thing about this stuff and not the bullshit. Because yeah. I could name a name, but I don't want to name a name. But I'm going to just say a, a rapper, just a any rapper that's really popping on the internet, right? Uh-huh. And you might like, uh, yeah, this dude here, this dude, like he really doing his thing. That's what you would think. And mm -hmm. you would think that this person is more popular or more relevant, you know, than the Kikis or the Slim Thugs or whatever of the world. But then when you scroll down their page, you're not seeing no flyers. You're not seeing no drops. When is the show? These people that, that a lot of, uh, people believe that are really doing well, man. And a lot of these people sell drugs and everything. They not no, really no, that. I know it. And and the thing I, I I agree with you, hundred ten percent. But when you a real real cat and you be mm -hmm. around, you get around them. You can tell that 
A lot of them are immature. A lot of them don't really deal with their own business. I see through mm -hmm. all of it because I'm a business dude. You know what I'm right. saying? So I've been around them. So I don't be, yeah. I've, I'm straight thinking, you know, when I come in the room, it's all about me. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, man, I'm you got real. a great I'm spirit. Like, man, man these your guys, spirit. Yo, I, mean, say, yeah. yo, I see what's going on. Oh, man, this yeah. is bad, you know. Yeah, but it's, but it's, I feel bad for them, too, yeah. because I know that a lot of times they get caught up in so much into their art that they don't, they, they business savvy don't balance out with it. I'm yeah. being real. Yeah, bro. but uh, to go along but with that. But you got it. I ain't, I'm, to go along with that, people don't make music that, that people like. They got antics. This is all Tupac and, and Michael Jackson fault. <laughs> they done created this, this, this where people believed in all of this other. Sh they doing all of this different other stuff, and they, you know, they they putting up. But out there in the world, people not listening to your music though. They yeah. not listening to what you got to say, or 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 they they not feeling like you know you really represent them because artistry really is about representation. It's about people relating to what you're talking about and feeling that you are it's like campaigning it's like being a politician you represent me you know mm -hmm. so at that point you know the the people again like the, every every successful artist represents a um a culture of individual uh a kind of person mm -hmm. or people believe that that's that's them he speaks for them you know and I just feel like people got it fucked up. They playing another kind of game mm -hmm. versus let me make the best music. Let me be true to myself. Man, you could say, man, I like watching uh, Friends. I like, you know, whatever. Whatever your uh, preferences mm -hmm. is, if you really go into yourself and be real about it, it's going to be a lot of people that's just like that. But everybody is playing the fake role, mm -hmm. not being vulnerable, not opening themselves up as an art. I done made all my mistakes publicly and openly they know I'm a damn fool so it's nothing for me to get out there and say it and to express it because it's like everything I've done I've done it openly there's nothing yeah. I can say that D don't know or or whoever's around me at the time they can tell oh yeah you know whoop, this and that so without there being no cap it allows me to make the best music I'm not trying to put on a roll you mm -hmm. know and I just kind of think that uh, at the end of the day it's a lot of people that they just trying to they looking to trick us into uh, believing that they something they not. They got all this counterfeit money. They done got prop somebody money. rented a car. That's prop money. Yeah, prop that's money. That's you know? Prop money. You got a question? Okay, yes. Okay. I was told that you've watched a lot of her episodes. Yes. Uh -oh. Almost all of her episodes. No, uh -oh. not almost all. That's a hundred and something, nigga. I've been putting them on. Hey, how oh, many, how many episodes do you think you've watched? Man. I watched Trilly Pope. Mm -hmm. Shout out Trilly Pope. I watched, uh, yes, yeah, shout out Trilly. I watched Smoothie. Moody Poppy. Uh, I watched pretty much all the clips with Sean Cotton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just clipping it. I ain't even giving yeah, it to you. Yeah, stop playing. Man. <laughs> Put that out, man. Teasing, teasing everybody. Terry Blue, shout out mom. Terry Blue. Terry, Terry yeah, is my yeah. nigga. Yeah, I talked um, to him yesterday. What else? Uh, I started on the Mr. Lucci. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. The first episode of the, because he had part one and two. The, like you about to have. The part, the, yeah, the part, the part one, it was the, uh, I know it's 47 minutes and something. It's yeah. saved in my whistling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got I got into that real good. Shout out Tuck too while I'm up here. Thank Tuck you, is my nigga. Thank nitty. you so much, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. what do you think about our platform man, and what we do? Blessing. If you continue and you don't stop, like this is what they tell me what and this is like I take this list and everything. There's no if anyway. Right. Keep going. Uh oh. Okay. Oh damn. I'm if you I don't get my work together, you know? right? <laughs> I, it was an if over there a little bit for me. No, go if ahead. If you don't stop, you're gonna go far. If you do stop or slow down, you're going backwards. If you remember that, it's gonna be on. That's hot. Y'all already shout out negative Sean. I told him I was gonna remember. Wow. <laughs> um. I never heard of him, but I have to look him up. I ain't gonna shun him. He's a monster. <laughs> you ain't gotta look him up because he'll find you. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but shout out nigga to Sean. When I told him that I was coming here today, he was like, "Damn, they moving fast." Yeah. So he knew about us. Yeah. Okay. It ain't happening up here without him knowing. Okay. He's the 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 negative blogger, man. <laughs> Wow. Negative Sean said I was the best rapper of all time. That's what made Lee Lee reach out to me from what Lee say. Lee say a lot of people tell me they try to take credit with saying, like, I told Lee about you a long time ago type shit. 
But um, Lee told me personally that when Negative Sean say you was the best rapper in Texas, Negative Sean is this nigga name. That tells yeah. you everything. Yeah. Negative Sean say, hey, I did the best rapper in Texas. Wow. That's a big that's a big statement, man. And he like, I gotta see who the fuck. But no, nah, when, when who the I, hell I, is I you get, talking about? I get, but I, Negative Sean nah, is nah, not. Nah, he not lying though. Yeah. I mean, far as your lyrical ability, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, I listen to music, man. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. It's something about the Pre way you do it, bro. Pre I ain't yeah. lying. And 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 Negative Sean is right. Like you, yeah. you a special type of guy. Negative Sean, and I know people be tripping he say he on wish me. I was from Dallas. It don't matter where you from. He, he just, he want, he just, man, I just wish you was from Dallas. I don't like that. I'm East Texas to the heart, bro. I don't I'll, play like that, man. Bro. You I, know how I am. You done yeah. been watching the show. <laughs> you already know. Hey, listen, everything we do, like I said, we don't really, I don't think they give us, have given us the true credit, but we got to take it with guys like you. I feel yeah. comfortable in the situation. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. We going to be all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I get, I get Dallas, why he's saying Dallas that. Dallas is East Texas. Yeah. I, I agree with that too. You know. And I love Dallas. Don't get, don't get it too. I've been here for a long time, bro. I worked yeah. and dealt with this city for many years. Um, but I also know that everything I ever started, started at home, bro. Yeah. For me. I, and that's just the way it, and it pops. Here too, and yeah. in Houston, I done been everywhere, bro. Mm -hmm. Selling, I'm like you. Yeah, I mean, I'ma go get it. I was at Harlem Nights and all this other stuff. Young, right. my, my record thirty five thousand out of truck in three days, bro. Oh. Yeah, I'm a hustler, man. Yeah, I come from nothing, man. Yeah, and I did that with clothes. Yeah. I ain't gonna even tell you what I did with that other stuff. Man, don't do what <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you. I'm just telling you, I go in, man. Yeah. And I, I, I know I, Pimp C is yo. I oh, mean, I love that dude. Right. I love him because of being at the track meet in Dangerfield. I heard him for the first time. That's when we were. It's because of the way he dealt with Texas. That's all it is, bro. I mm -hmm. mean, he he when other yeah. people were looking down on us. And I think that's why Jay Prince like him like he do. It's just the way he is, man, as a person. It's a it's a thing to where it's like a He dropped his nuts and said, yeah, hey, it's man. It's a protective guard over you're not going to do this to us. And, yeah. and you're going to respect us for who we are. And if you don't, then you know what else you can do. <laughs> that's yeah. the way he was. That's the way I seen it. Art, artistry. I, I just think that he was definitely a vanguard, like, just yeah. at the front of it. Like, yeah. showing, like, because it, it takes... A certain kind of bravery mm -hmm. to that's it to be like all right I'm putting this out I stand by this this is what's jamming it sounds nothing like <laughs> anything else right <laughs> that's right yeah and that's what I'm saying these artists that want to that this goes back into like what we were saying about are you you know what do you reach out and tell them and all that shit, you know how mm -hmm. do you, who is you talking to yeah it's hard to talk to somebody that's not fearless. Yeah. Who's playing it safe. Check it out. They I, playing it safe on I the I mean, news. the thing about even the guy that spoke last night said uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. it was like mumble rap, you know, this mumble rap or, or something. He was like, he's talking about the Migos. And I was like, I don't play like that. Man, you know what I'm saying? Listen, bro, I don't play like that. Because I know already, just because I don't sound like somebody else that everybody familiar with, right. I'm not going to put that stigma on them because them niggas getting down. And at the end of the day, they, they, from, down, they, right from, where, they from where we at. They in the yeah. South. They might sound, we sound different. But but cat like you, I'm putting you up against anybody. I ain't yeah. trying to hear it. Man, I'm going to go get them. But I'm just saying, <laughs> that I'm not going to dumb down what these brothers are doing because that's what was happening with PMC in there, during the time when they was doing what they yeah. were doing and he's seen that and and that's what we're missing like somebody just stepped up and said nigga we don't care nothing about y'all saying mumble rap these cats going in and the world yeah. accepting them and you know what I mean you know the ones that that, that are, I, but I do understand criticism and I understand that somebody is saying you ain't shit like somebody you <laughs> know what I mean that's just like me like when I say something about Michael Jack it's like I mean something Oh, they're gonna look you up. They finna look at your music. Let me see what this nigga yeah, yeah, yeah. LD three hundred, where you can yeah, find man. him at? I'm going on YouTube. Oh, this I'm nigga. gonna leave I'm gonna leave some terrible comments. Nah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, but you, but I just, job. you know, I, uh it's it's this is the sport for me. Yeah. So um, you know, I like to hear it. And if somebody has something negative to say about something that's I just wanna hear it explained. Yeah, I, I I'm not somebody that want to hear only the good thing, and I listen to people. I'm talking about the opinions of people who I don't agree with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear like I just feel we live in a time where nobody likes to hear like uh, an opinion different from their own. Their own, yeah. I get it. And and 
I don't really have that luxury because I argue with all of my homies. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Everybody. No, I like, can we tell. Argue. I can tell. We, whoever I can tell, it is, I, we I gonna, can tell. I we're going to argue. Let's go, you know? I, I can tell if we sitting yeah. around, it's going to go there. And, the, then, and then I call and say it. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, hey, what's up? I yeah. got something I want to say. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. You know, you, they know. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. I think this here. You well, know? I mean, like I said, when you came to me about the views, I was like, you right. Like, I really need to start asking that question because a lot of them, the mo where's the money at and what do you do? And I've gotten some answers. And some of them was reflective to I'm still in the streets. I'm being real. And just in this little small of time when me and you talked about that. Keep this. Here it goes right here. Here goes a clip for you. Selling, right? When you don't put your stuff... In the market, the marketplace is where we gonna find out who's who and what's what. The marketplace. So, when you don't think of enough of your, my, I got a ten album U.S. Drive, Let U.S.B. I, I was wanting to talk All right, about this one. This. Okay, let's talk about this one right here. This U.S.B. Okay, yeah, yeah, you keep that. Yeah, keep that. Okay, thank y'all. You know, so here we go. This USB drive right here got my first 10 albums on it. I made an album when I got out. And the first time I got out, me and Kiki did a, uh, me and Kiki, my homeboy Kane, we did a, a mixtape before. So I wasn't even out for that called 300 Reasons for War. Okay. What I'm saying is, if you know that your craft is at a certain level, and I, t you know what this sell for? How much? This is $60 right here. Wow. What you mean, wow? Because it got the songs on it, right? Yeah, he's got 10 albums on there, but you saying, wow, is if what? No, nah, that's a good price for 10 albums for compared to where, oh, okay. where we used to be. Well, I'm just making sure we yeah, on the same no, page. No, no. Don't say wow like you feel like it's pricey. No, no, no. Because no, I'm going to no. tell you this here. No, this I'm saying, <laughs> when you look at 10 albums back in the day, that was a lot. That was... That was sixty. That was more than sixty. Uh, it was about twelve bucks. You got to put about. I'm looking at CDs. Right. I'm I'm right. going back to my CD era. Yeah. My cassette era uh, is about the same as the CD era. People right. don't realize that, but it was just was a conversion. Well, if they, they give you no know, damn ten ten albums. Yeah. Well, this they was my couldn't, you know? okay. But this this is my first ten albums, and the, the whole point that I'm trying to make about it. I've never seen nobody use these. Open it up. See that? How? Yeah. There you go. I'm trying to pull. You gotta pull it open. Apart. Pop open, it. Pop, pop it open. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to break. it. You can't break it. I like to see people do this because this is what I get all the time. Pop it open. Did you pop it yet? No. Pop it the other way. Damn. So this is what people be going through. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me see. Here, you gotta. You need a tutorial of how I, to do I, that. I do it. It's online. Damn. Oh, I was about to say see. Mm -hmm. Pop it. So anyway. Okay. You pop that in. Yeah. You put that in your in your uh, USB drive in your car. It plays through your, you know, through your system in your car. That's cool. I hadn't seen that before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So, what I'm trying to say about that is that in the marketplace, in the real world, where the customers are, when they paying for it and telling you it's dope, and you have a starting point, and you keep going, and you refine your you know, you refine everything about your selling process and the, the, you know, the music making process and all of that. And you see it grow and you see it. Oh, okay, I got more customers. Oh, this is what I need. Da, 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 da. Cause they looking for this once you have a good rapport with them, just like yeah, I sell my clothes. The exactly. Same thing. And it, and it goes and it goes and yeah. it goes. But what do you tell somebody who gives everything for free, give everything away that they got for free. And they instead of telling you, with a straight face in your eye, they paying for the studio time, whatever they doing, whatever. The the even even I've I've seen people come on here, okay, and what say, they say, oh yeah, man, the shows, man, my shows, I'm doing my shows. Yeah, they getting that show money. They getting that show money. LD, they getting that show money even during COVID. Yeah, and I'm saying to myself, how much. Do you got a car note? Do you got like what 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 all do you got? Cause are you making enough on shows? Is what I'm saying. And if if you get paid five hundred dollars for that show or a thousand dollars for that show, what did you wear to the show? Mm -hmm. How much did that cost? Like you a rapper, you got to be on some rap shit, you know. Mm -hmm. Shout out Kings Cloth. 
Uh, I like that. I like that. What you got? Yeah, they this, nice. this is my first time like being yeah. like sponsored. Like, yeah, they, 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 can they, I talk they, about man, it? That's yeah, all I got. Can I talk? Yeah, they. You know, King's Cloth. I did purchase some at first, and then I reached out and like, you know, now I'm pulling rap strings. Hey man, yeah. what's up, man? I need. Hey man, I'm, I got shit to do. What's yeah, up? I need. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And then, you know, but Club shout out me. King's Cloth. They, they just stay, uh, Stephen Jackson. They, you know, I've been tone Trump. You know. Uh, Muslim attire But whatever Just fly for stuff But what I'm trying to say Is this In the marketplace You can become yourself Out there in the marketplace mm. If you go Get you some clothes And they ain't selling We ain't ordering No more of them Right What the hell You gonna keep ordering For they ain't, they ain't Buying that mm -hmm. We gotta switch it up Right Okay If you making music As an artist and you know you sitting there, you telling me that you the coldest to do it and all of this shit they say when they get right here while I'm sitting there right now, man I'm the cold man. Why y'all ain't recognizing me? Woo -woo, man y'all you really got me fucked up and woo -woo. and then it's a back and forth and it's a dialogue and it's fun and it's spirited. But what did you sell, man? Do you got anything for sale? Is you making some money with that? What you doing? This them real conversations. Man, I, I'm having a else, bro. listen. I had a conversation with uh, Robert Gilliman. Shout out uh, Southwest Digital. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to go down there. We're gonna have some more meetings. You know what? The, what they want to what they want to talk about is seeing proof. In order to get a deal, they just want to see the proof of your sales. Of course, we got the proof of the sales. So, oh, you doing this much? We believe you can do this much. So we willing to put that investment in to do that. We just want to see where you at. With this Man. type of stuff, you know what I'm saying. But if you're not in the game, like you're not putting, you ain't selling nothing, so you don't got no history of nothing but some stuff that you got on the internet. That you got this your music on the same platform with all of the biggest in the world that's paying for you views and stuff like that. Well, I, I think just, you you came out. You know, think about this for a minute. When you came out, you came out different because these people have been influenced by what's going on, and you basically came out at a time to where you was able to adapt to it in a way to where it could do benefit what you were doing. It got to make. It got to make dollars. It got to yeah, make I, sense. I get it, man. I'm gonna tell you because when uh, and and my brother was like, yeah, man, him and Don Chief would do a hell of an album together. I'm like, mm -hmm. really? He like he he like y'all both spitting something so real yeah. and talking about the you know the way. You came up, or he came, and it'll be a dope album. Yeah. I say, yeah, I, I could see that. You Chief know, is real. yeah. So um, he said he live in the real world. Yeah, you know, that's, that's what he kept telling me yeah. as he was interviewing. He said, man, I live in the real world, man. I don't know nothing about the internet the way like that they doing it. So the transition for him was a task, you know, because he was out here mm -hmm. and he was doing the CDs and he was, you know, then the transition to streaming and, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So they they was out here facing that. Yeah. You, Yo, Pat, you, you, you didn't have to deal with that uh, because you came I, home and you, night, when did you come home? February 25, 25th, 2019. Yeah, you I didn't. mean, March 25th, 2019. <laughs> <laughs> But you didn't March have, you, but you understand 2019. what I'm saying though it was a, that was a transition that really took a toll on them and had to because they was yeah. really moving units and stuff like that. Well, then, if you got your mind made up that you're gonna be a rapper, you're gonna live up under a bridge. If yeah. you if you let that be the thing and you don't give yourself no plan B, it'll start it'll start making sense to you. You'll start moving in the right direction. But if you got if you got all of these different things that you're gonna allow yourself to do. Well, I'm gonna just sell me some weed until it, you know. Well, I'm gonna just go ahead. I'm gonna do this here to the, you know. Well, that's what you're gonna be doing until, you know. Yeah. But you're not gonna make no real headroom in this if you're not fully committed, because it takes too much time. Well, let me ask you this: um, where where can people get a hold of you at? As far as on your on your social, on my, social right. media. On my social media at ALD.300. Um, just DM me and we gonna get it on. And that's okay. what we that's what we do on whether it be on Facebook, whether it be on uh, Instagram. Um, just hit me up, DM me, get your like I always say, DM for your order. <laughs> gonna mail you, it's gonna hit you in the head in, in a day and a half or two, whatever the USP is. Mm -hmm. Put it in, rock out to it. Let me know, you know, am I tripping? Am I? You, I might be tripping. I we, might not be the best. We love you, man. Man, you, we love you. you. And, and you once too. you come on here, yeah. you can always come back. You could call man. me. 
Yeah, hey, I'm finna come on. I'm, okay, we'll get up there. We, yeah, we, yeah, we we love hey, hard. And y'all, we y'all, love hard, bro. Man, like, I we, appreciate you, that. We just being who we are. Yeah, and keep That's doing the, what y'all doing. Yeah, thank you, man. Because I mean, that energy that y'all got, just the the fan, like it's just an unbeatable. It's no way you can lose. Now this is the no longest way. interview we've ever had. What really? is it? How long? Two hours long. Damn. But I don't I don't mind it. Me and you I No, knew, we don't mind it. I knew you I mean I wanted to hear I wanted to hear what you had to say and I knew I could do a part one and part two. Mm-hmm. And that's I'm a working part three, yeah. part four. No, just part one and part two. <laughs> Stop playing. But yeah, you know, and then I can grab my little pieces out of there I want to make make my little skits with to where we can talk about Michael Jackson. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. No, for thank sure, you man. for coming on the show, man. man. God bless you and your family, man. Yeah, you and too. if you ever need us. You got my number. Yeah. You know where we've been here for fifteen years serving a, a black owned business serving. Yeah. Nobody we wasn't getting a lot of people. We got the, our same core customer base that mm-hmm. supported us. We just started seeing these people like this, man. But it didn't matter because I had my wife. I didn't care about that. God God supplied all my needs according to You started with your core cu- hold up, you talking my language. You yeah, I started yeah. with my core, the people that I deal with. You had in this your community. core customers. Yeah, I seen them grow up. From yeah. Ten years from we've been here, you see some that come in here at, at, at eleven or ten, now they twenty three. Some of them go to Have prison to the now. feds, come back, come back home. Back hey home. E, you still here? Oh man. Yeah. I was in there thinking by the way I used to shop here, bro, and they come back and it's love. Yeah. Some of them pass away. I've seen all this in the Hispanic community, white we we had stores where we catered to only people uh, car- mostly white. I had white district managers, uh, and and I dealt with it like that too in certain places. But this here is the second store we done. First was was Cass County by Cass County Bank in uh, Queen City. Queen City, mm-hmm. yeah, and then this one, and then we did the one, then I did the one in uh, Marshall, no Terrell, in Terrell two in Terrell, and then yeah. So it it goes on and on and on. But the deal is, we've been serving the community here for a lot of years, man, and and. I thank God that we get new people in and people that 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 say they some just come for the for the podcast. But once you come in and we love you, man, yeah, you can't you can't get enough of us because we just being one hundred. You know what? Y'all gonna win, man. I hope so, man. And, <laughs> and we win. already won if we we talk to you today. Yeah. I'm gonna be real yeah. with you. I look at things from a different gonna, perspective. You gonna your energy after that is just all about perfecting the craft. And, and just mashing the gas and never stopping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. Well, if you need us, like I say, we're here, man. I, yeah. I, and I really mean that. I, I'm yeah. a realist, brother. You say, yeah. E, I'm in Austin. Uh, when I come through Austin, right, or, or wherever, if you in uh, Houston, wherever, I'm going right. to be like, where you at, man? I'll pull up. You know, yeah. I ain't going out with you to no clubs. I don't do none of that. We I know you got to do that, though. No, you got to go through a show. We, that's the only yeah, way You know what I'm saying? It. But I don't do, I, I'm, I don't do nothing. Yeah. So I'm lame. I'm, I'm a, hey, I'm a little square in the circle, right? <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> you know, but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm here for yeah, you, bro. Man, in any way we can bro. be, me and my family, you know? Man, this so, is fun. Man, I hope so, man. And like I said, I I hope it ain't our last time doing it. I don't think I don't believe it will yeah, be. Yeah, so if you have yeah. an artist like you was talking about getting mm-hmm. an artist, make sure if you got a show man, going on I, in yeah, Dallas. When, when you hear that I got man. an artist, you know that he's a dog or he she. Be, or she. Or she. She got to be going. She got to be like. I know that yeah. with you. <laughs> and when I start, when I'm like, man, I'm riding with this person. This going to be the yeah, best yeah. person ever. Yeah, so like I said, you welcome to come back through and bring it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to understand about videographers. Okay. Videographers are the real gatekeepers to this game. Have you okay. not DJs no more? Okay, did you see? You've been seeing my show. I'm no. I was the one bringing them on. I got Cam God. I got Heat A. Cam God. Yeah. I got. A I got Twan Visuals. Right. I got it. You, you can got go there. All of them. Okay. Man. Well, I'm gonna go back on that. Heat but HD, Twan Visuals. Uh, uh, who else? Ovid Media. Ovid Media. Giovanni the God. Yeah. I deal with. Yeah. I, I like the behind the scenes. DZ so Miyaki. Okay. That's another videographer? Yeah, that's my videographer. You got to send him to my way. I sure will. He's yeah. in, he's based in Houston, Texas. Okay. And he is the best down there. Okay. Um, DZ Miyaki, just Man, look him up. Shout out DZ Miyaki. Filmed by Miyaki. He's the best. Our squad oh, oh, uh, is the best. Uh, prof, prophecy film. Prophecy yeah. film. All, no, all of them is some name. You, I'm pretty sure you'll get half pint after a while. Or we already did. It. You already got him. Look, man, you're not gonna miss <laughs> me, man. <laughs> I'm, but I'm working, and it's not. It's 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 a, it's a different interview. Like I'm gonna go back and look at your interview, look at mine. It's gonna be totally different. Yeah. It's us in here. We in here, yeah. and we talking, and it's yeah. a good conversation. Okay, well, you got all of them people. That means you. <laughs> I need your. I need your guy. Yeah. 
That's right. Yeah, a film of <laughs> a film by Miyaki. These are Miyaki. I just left from last Please. night. And we do a lot of producers. We do a lot yeah. of engineers. We like, do like, anybody behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna let him know because he comes up here and shoots a lot. They they book him up here. Yeah. Next time he come up here, he come, gonna, he's, stop by. Yes, he's got to. You just gotta up. let me know. Give me a couple of days so I can get him everything straight. Yes, sir. I got you. Yes, sir. I yes, want to see him, man. Yeah. Okay. Man, now, now I'm I'm good. Now I done got right. everything off my chest. Uh, well, you coming back? Yeah. Ain't tripping on you, man. Say, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Yeah, man. And we out.